show you how to make this cute Scrabble tile coaster with a resin covering it with a cork back on it. What you're going to need is a two-part epoxy resin. I'm using ice resin. You're going to need a, a four four-letter words with Scrabble tiles. You're going to need some packing or uh, masking tape, a few portion cups that you can pour and stir your resin in, a stir stick, and that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and put some latex gloves on. The resin is non-toxic, but it does tend to get your hands sticky and it's hard to clean off, so I tend to put gloves on when I work with resin. I want to pour equal parts. Now, if you don't have um, measuring cups with portions measured out on them, I always just take a Sharpie and make my own portion lines on these cups. So I don't need very much because I'm only covering one coaster. So I've got my line right here at the bottom, equal parts of the hardener and of the resin. If it stays tacky, you can always do another pour over top to fix that, but it's a bummer if you don't get it right the first time. All right, so the next thing I want to do is pour these two cups into a third cup. The two parts are going to get stirred together for two minutes. It's going to cause some bubbles to come to the surface. This is both from folding and then do, introducing the air just from the stirring and also it's a chemical reaction when the two parts meet. Once it's stirred up, the bubbles will pop automatically once I pour it on. I see lots of bubbles right now, but I'm also going to hit it with a heat tool in just a minute, and that'll pop a lot of the bubbles. The heat tool changes the viscosity of the resin. It makes it thinner, and so those bubbles are easily popped out. I'm pulling it all the way out to the edges. It's going to spill over the edge, and that's just fine, but I want to make sure that everything is covered. And again, the masking tape on the back is crucial so that these don't slip slide around as the resin is curing. Otherwise, um, they're going to slide out of place. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and take this heat it tool. And you, if you could see that close up, you could see all these bubbles are just pop it, pop, pop, popping out the surface. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. I'm going to hit it with the tool again, the heat it tool again. So it's now the next day, and we're going to peel the masking tape off the back of these Scrabble tiles. should come off nice and clean. And then you want to do this as early as you can after it's set up so that you can actually cut the excess resin away. If you let it sit too long it becomes brittle and you might snap these tiles apart. But while it's still in this soft cure phase, you should be able to just very easily snip the edges of the excess resin. This is set just a little bit too long, maybe six hours too long, but it's coming off okay. And then um, this is cork that comes on a roll that's got a, a sticky back lining and I've cut it out on my die cut machine because I have a bunch of these set up for gift maker but um, you can cut this to size. Mine is cut just a little bit larger because that's the die that I have but I'll trim off the excess again with scissors. And there you have it, cork on the back of a really nice coaster.